Hey guys, what's up? It's Retro Mikey 78 here today, and today we have an epic, epic pickup day. We had such a fun time this weekend. Um, but I've got pickups from last week and this week, and finally got back into the groove of things. Boy, did it feel good to get out, see other YouTubers, get to hang out with some people. Um, before I start the video, I want to give a shout out to Retro Tony, Kyle the Collector, and Hey Dad, Let's Play. It was great to see you guys get out, wake you, and hang out. So, gonna start off uh, last week's pickups, then we'll get into this week, and we'll show everything from the Kansas City swap meet that we went to. Now, um, start out, I went to a local Goodwill, found some games for three bucks a piece. Figured, why not get something that um, looked interesting? Um, as a kid growing up, I loved NASCAR. Uh, I had this on the PC and I played it to death. So I figured I'm going to pick it up for the PS1 and figured I'd pick it up for the PS1 and see how it is. Now we got this because it just looked funny. Um, Ants Extreme Racing. Couldn't pass that up. Couldn't pass up Ford versus Chevy. Just want to mess around with it. Final Fantasy X. Um, actually never played it before. Bought this to resell because it's a really good clean copy. Um, Guitar Hero, the original. It's only three bucks. Uh, saw online you get probably about 12 to 15 for it. So figured three bucks. Turn around, flip it. Try to pay for most of these games I just bought. And decided to pick up Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 for three bucks complete. Not a bad lot at the flea or the Goodwill. Now, I uh, went to the flea market for the first time in a while. Scored kind of not a bad lot. Um, paid 60 bucks for all this. There's a few good gems in here, a few common things. Um, this was the most expensive one I got was a copy of Dark Cloud. Um, paid 20 for it. Both these are, um, were five a piece. Uh, Diablo Reaper of Souls for the Xbox One and Half Life 2. I think I paid, I might have paid 10 for this, I'm not sure. Mario Kart 8. Um, basically, I wanted a copy to put in my Wii U to make the set complete. I had sold mine and didn't realize that my box didn't have a game. So that was mainly the reason I bought it because I play that on the Switch, not on the Wii U. Then I bought um, 10 PSP movies added to the collection. They were two bucks a piece. Four of them were see are still sealed. Go through the titles real quick. Black Hawk Down, A Sealed Alien, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Stealth Still Sealed, Casino Rail, Triple X, Sealed Fifth Element, Starship Troopers, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen Sealed, and Open Season. But yeah, just stuff I want to add to the collection. That was a not a bad weekend. Now, um, the Kansas City swap meet, that happened this week. And boy, was it fun. Um, before we left, me and April remembered that there was Amiibos going, coming out. We found two of them locally. We got Banjo-Kazooie and Belleth. Um, got those here at our local Target. Um, right next to where we live. So I was like, all right, we got those, but they didn't have Terry. They were sold out. Um, yeah, you guys probably see it sitting there. Um, on the way over, we did stop at a few antique malls before we went to the swap meet. And I had to show you guys what I picked up and the sign at the register. That's the big thing. We got an Iceman, the clear white one and the clear blue one. And at the time, we wasn't sure which one we had. The prices were so good on these, I didn't want to pass up which one I didn't have, so we bought them both. And got home, and the clear blue one is the one I do have. So I'll probably end up selling it or getting rid of it at some point, trading it. I got another one down here in a box that I need to get rid of that I got a duplicate of. Then I also picked up um, Sabretooth. Um, this was actually a good one. It was only $7.50. Yeah. But this was the sign that um, they had at the register. This is what made that flea market, or actually, that antique mall perfect. You guys have got to see this sign. 
How many of you guys need a sign like that at all the video game stores that you go to? And that that sign, oh, I cherish that sign. Yeah. I found it. Yes, and April yelling in the other room, she found that sign when I wasn't paying attention. I'm trying to help the lady. She was trying to read something on the tag and figure out what we owed. April goes, look at the sign. I looked at it. it. It's hilarious. For five bucks more, we'll give you what you tell your spouse you paid. Now, like I said, um, we were going over there and, you know, the other YouTubers I mentioned, we were meeting up with Kyle the Collector and Hey Dad, Let's Play. And we ended up meeting up at the Key King... Kingcade Arcade, and I got a little bit of footage in the place, so I'll show you guys that while I talk over it. Um, it was a small, you know, decent sized arcade. Um, it was $20, you could play all day. Um, we only stayed about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Didn't stay very long because we had to go check under our hotel. They have a store next to it that's mainly toys, awesome toy store. Um, Co-op of Nerds would love that store. You guys, you guys go to Kansas City, you have to check out King K. You guys would, um, wow. Um, but anyways, there was a GameStop next to that, and I was like, well, while I'm there, they always carry the new Amiibos, so they did have one Terry left, so I bought that. But what they also had was um, T-shirts for 10 bucks, and all their shirts that day were ten dollars since i'm going down the next size i decided i picked up the know your mushroom shirt it was a double x but i'm gonna throw it in the dryer hopefully it shrinks because i really wanted the shirt for 10 bucks they didn't have my other the size i wanted i'm going down to an extra large and then i bought this one which is an extra large and i really thought this was cool looking but for 10 bucks i couldn't pass up those shirts um this stuff here this is from kyle the collector he's making a video about all the missouri game um the, he's making a video about all the missouri gamers for youtube and actually three of us off this were there at the swap meet we had kyle the collector uh, four of us kyle the collector retro tony hey dad let's play and retro mikey retro tony was selling there and hey dad let's play in Kyle the Collector um we we met at the, the day before at the arcade we hung out for a little bit yeah um he gave us this he gave me a keychain and a switch game holder you put your switch game in here it holds it and I also got you know the sleeve and he gave this little joust arcade and the same stuff to show me retro for being in the thing um show me retro and batfan87 and do you nerd were not at the swap meet so i bought i brought his over he also for free and i yeah for free he you know it was kind of a gift he said he he, this was just stuff laying around his house. An old container of ooze for the turtles. I just think it's really neat. And you see it's been setting so long the ooze doesn't move anymore. And then he... I don't know if he said he made this or how he did it. But it's old school turtle cards and like a little wall plaque thing. This is really cool. Um, I did buy two things from Kyle. Oh, where is that? That's what goes on there. All right. Now, this first item I bought from Kyle is really cool. I'd actually never seen one. But it's an amiibo stand. Kind of like um, the... Bowser level in the original Mario. So this is really cool. Um, bought that off of him. Then I bought this. Something I'd never seen before. It's a quick shot scope. For a zapper gun. I mean. It doesn't improve your accuracy. It doesn't do anything. 
but it, it's just um, really, really cool. Um, I've really, I've, I've seen them back in the day, but I've never seen one in person. Actually, in, uh, the only time I've ever seen one, I think, was broke. Came with the gun. I, I didn't need a gun. I've got tons of the guns, but it was cool to get that from him. The quick shot's rare. I know this um, Amiibo stand is kind of rare, because I haven't seen that one. So, I want to say thanks to Kyle for the gifts and for the stuff that I was able to buy from him. Um, that was awesome. Uh, now, before I start in with what I bought, I want to clear the table off and then we will go through the story of the pickups during the swap meet. Because even this stuff from Kyle, this was the last items I bought. But because they were with Kyle's stuff, I went through and told you that part of the story. So, be right back. Alright guys, so, this is actually everything that I picked up at the swap meet. And... Kind of spent quite a bit of money at the swap meet. Um, once you guys start seeing some of this, you're going to start pricing some of it. You're going to be like, wow. But you have to think, I did spend money, but it wasn't all mine. That's the joy of it. A buddy at work, I was telling him about the swap meet, and he's wanting a bunch of RPGs. He's a JRPG nut. And I told him, I said, usually I find him at swap meets and conventions stuff like that and i was expecting this to be more of like in a convention hall or something i didn't know exactly what to expect what we were kind of shocked when we found out that it was a small mom and pop store and they were just letting people set up in front of their store and back in the back of the parking lot and back around the building so it was more almost like a sidewalk sale and this is stuff that I bought from pretty much every vendor. This here is probably the most expensive stack that I probably ever have bought once. And only two of the items were mine. <laughs> so, let's go through and show you what happened. The guy gave me um, a long list of games that if I was to buy all the games, you're probably talking seven, eight grand. Because, I mean, he wanted some really rare, rare RPGs. Um, I mean, he was wanting a copy of Earthbound. You know, I was looking at him like, hey, instead of getting Earthbound, I said, if you can find a SNES classic, I said, just get that and play it. You're just wanting to play it. I said, play it on that. But um, this was the first pickup of the day. And... I scored this whole stack off of one vendor. Um, these two are for me. Um, Evil Dead Fist of Broomstick. And Evil Dead Regeneration. Um, I really want to see how they play on the PS2. I have them on the Xbox. But I wanted to see them on this. Now this was all games that the guy had on his list. And we have Xenogear Saga 1, 2, and 3. All in mint condition. We have Sudoken, Sudoken, I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, but we have three, four, and five, all in mint condition. Wild Arms 3, Wild Arms After Code F, Star Ocean, End of Time in the Box, copy like that. Dark Cloud 1 and 2. And Ark the Lad. So, um, that, yeah, that right there, you guys can tell, that was a lot of money. But um, the guy quoted a price. Me and him negotiated down some. So, it was awesome. Then I came back through later and I noticed he had strategy guides on the bottom guys all see my videos you know how much i love strategy guides he basically he actually didn't basically he gave me metroid 2 and metroid 3 strategy guides for free so two more strategy guides in my collection surprise april ain't yelling in the background you don't need no more 
Then um, from the same vendor, also when I picked up the strategy guides, April really wanted this. It's a Rampage arcade machine that I just dropped. Um, oh, it still works. So, nice. We have another model of another one up there. Uh, it looks almost like the same machine, but she wanted this box, so. We bought it. Um, now, I told you guys Retro Tony was there and Retro Tony was selling. Like I told you, the guy wanted a copy of Earthbound. So I told him, I asked look at Retro Tony, got this off of him for a deal. The guy also was not only wanting Earthbound, on his list was Final Fantasy 3, Secret of Mana, Mario RPG. So, instead of paying all the money for all those game separate just get him a classic here you go then he also was wanting a ds light so we got him a ds light right here with a charger tony had that um the only other thing i got for that guy later was a copy of chrono cross um no manual in it got a deal for it so not bad chrono cross but also picked these up off Tony, um, a copy of Never Dead for the PS3, Everyone's Golf VR, and Double Switch for the Sega CD. I have no idea what it is, what it's worth, but whatever. Um, huh. I even know where Tony picked this up at, Midway Antique Mall for five bucks. And guess we should have stopped at Midway if they had games. But... That was all I got from Tony. Um, he had a lot of good stuff, just nothing I was looking for. I'm um, looking around the ground. Where do I want to go? Um, this was out front. These were both out front. We'll stay in the back right now. I walked around this place two, three times. Didn't buy nothing from the store itself, but the other people had some good stuff. One guy there had the Panzer Dragoon um, 2. Won $100 for it. I was debating on it, but decided not to. Um, I got this. It's a little dirty and beat up, but I'm going to try cleaning it up. Uh, top loader. Um, I have not had one of these since the early 2000s. Um, I have a dog bone somewhere around this room. I have no idea where it is, but got that. Um, did not come with a dog bone, but came with all the other hookups. So came with a regular controller. I've got regular controllers out the butt. Um, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Um, this was 10 bucks. Um, bought this mainly because my copy is sealed and is going, I just sent it somewhere. So got that for myself. Uh, maybe I want to play it. Maybe I'll buy the Switch copy. I don't know. Just figured 10 bucks. Um, bought this Resident Evil Director's Cut. Um, I thought this was the version I was missing, but it's not. Uh, it's a little scratched up. Got it for 20. I might sell it for 25. Now that I realize it's not the one I needed. Then I got this. This is one I really thought was neat. The Dead Rising Riptide um, kind of collector's pack. It's really, really neat. It's originally sealed. Um, this was neat. I got all this, you know, with this top loader and everything. So. Then I picked this up, and boy, this everybody's always time talking about this game. I couldn't pass this up. The guy game, it's got stickers on it I need to remove. But complete, in excellent condition. I've never played this game, but I hear everybody talk about it, so excited to get it. Um, these two things, the last two things, were out front. Um, picked up a copy of Time Splitters 2 for the GameCube. Been looking for for the PS2, but I figured 20 bucks. Why not? Great, great. It is um, all complete in there. $20. You can't beat that. Then the guy goes, I got a grab bag. Reached in and pulled out a um, copy of Tomb Raider 2. Not worth hardly anything. Then I got some strategy guides and... These were five bucks a piece, and honestly, I think this was a steal too. 
a Resident Evil 2 for five bucks. Cover Extreme Battle Mode. There's no poster in this one. I don't, honestly, I don't think I've ever seen this copy of Resident Evil 2. I'll have to look it up. If I don't own this copy, this will stay in my collection. Now, I'm trying to get all three Parasite Eve games and strategy guys. I just picked up the third birthday the other day. I had Parasite Eve 2 forever. Now, I got a copy of Parasite Eve for five bucks. Now, the only thing I need to complete this whole set is I gotta get Parasite Eve 2 later this year. Then I also picked up, and this is a um, game from my childhood, I early, early adulthood, whatever. Phantasmagoria. I love this game. I love this game almost as much as 7th Guest growing up. Um, this was back when I played PC games a lot. Uh, late 90s. This was an awesome game. Um, just i i remember a lot of stuff going through it in detail so i'd actually be interested in going through it again and maybe using the book to go through some things see if there's things i missed because it's an exploring game you don't have to solve everything i'd like to see if there's stuff i would i missed i know i played through the game several times but yeah that is um as i'm looking around the room double checking because i did Kind of staggered things around. Had you guys seen the thumbnail? The big laundry basket full of stuff. I had stuff everywhere. So, that's everything I got. I thought it was a great weekend. I had a blast. Picked up quite a bit of stuff. <coughs> Still didn't get to knock off anything off my survival horror list. But, all in all, I th had a blast. Had, a fun, had fun. And I know April had fun too. So, Retro Mikey 78, I'll see you guys later. And um, hey, hope conventions start back up and you guys can see me, see what I get in the show. <laughs>